Just before we came on the news, we heard from the National Weather Service in Blacksburg. They said that no tornadoes have been confirmed in Danville or in Halifax County. They surveyed two areas around Blue Park in Danville and Charlie Brown Lane in Halifax County and resulting in straight line winds. No tornadoes confirmed in that part of the area. Keeping our attention towards south side, we still have a river flood warning through the weekend for the Dan River at Danville, Paces and South Boston. Uh, we're starting to see the river level come down a little bit in Danville, but still major flooding ongoing in South Boston and Paces. Meanwhile, for the rest of the area, a nice day weather wise. The winds have changed, certainly blowing and blown quickly at times. Wind speeds anywhere from 5 to 15 miles per hour and then gusting higher from time to time. I think we'll see that kind of repeat again tomorrow. Weak weather disturbance out towards the west. Meanwhile, we are high and dry here. We'll notice some clouds coming in off of this disturbance. Most of this widespread rain is going to stay towards the north and even a little bit of snow mixing in in parts of Illinois. For us tonight, clouds on the increase. We see temperatures in the 40s for the first time since May. That at least being the case in the Roanoke Valley. Mid to upper 40s, temperatures may even drop into the 30s in the Highlands. Future tracker showing us that we could see maybe just a stray shower or two overnight. Not going to be a big deal at all, but check this out. As you go towards snowshoe, there could actually be a few snowflakes by early tomorrow morning. Little to no accumulation with that, but still crazy to go talking about that at this point in the year. Decreasing clouds throughout the course of the afternoon tomorrow. We'll see more sunshine. It'll be breezy again, and it'll actually be a little cooler than what we managed to get to today. Temperatures in the low 60s in Roanoke and Lynchburg. We only managed to top out in the upper 50s in the NRV, low to mid 60s in South Side. So really going to be a fairly cool and a not very humid day at all. It's going to feel very nice if you're maybe heading out to the corn maze or the pumpkin patch. It's probably a perfect weekend to do that. Hopefully there's enough pumpkins there with how wet things have been as of late. High pressure taking care of us in the meantime. That's going to keep things pretty dry, but then we've got a weak cold front that's going to try and set up shop by Monday. And here's what that means for us. It means a few showers on the return. Heavier rain is going to stay towards our north, but we can't rule out a few hit or miss showers heading into Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Your extended forecast showing a cool weekend ahead. Temperatures in the upper 50s and low 60s. We may warm up a little bit on Monday with temperatures in the upper 60s to low 70s. Another system passes by that cold front I was just showing you and then temperatures get into the low to mid 60s next week. Plenty of sunshine with cooler temperatures at night.